Welcome to the LTM training videos. In today's session, we'll learn how to install LTM onto ESX. Once you have downloaded the LTM software, you'll receive this compressed file. Simply extract the contents of this folder to the location of your choosing. Once the folder has been extracted, you can view the contents to find a VMDK and VMX file if you've downloaded the ESX version of the LTM software. The next step in this process is to open our vCenter vSphere client and to browse our local data stores. We now want to upload a file, or in this case, an entire folder, and select the extracted folder from the previous step. Depending on network speed, this should be a fairly quick process. We can now view the contents of the folder to see that the files have uploaded correctly. The next step in this process is for us to view VMs and templates here and create a new virtual machine. For this process, we will select custom. We will give the LTM management server a virtual machine name. And of course, select the folder in which we want it to reside. The cluster, if you have one, and the host in which you want to host the LTM server. Virtual machine version. For this process, we'll select Linux as the guest operating system and other Linux 64-bit. Of course, we'll leave this default for the purpose of the demo. We'll give the machine one gigabyte of memory, although this can be scaled up depending on the size of your organization. On this window, we will select Use Existing Virtual Disk. We will then browse to the folder that we previously uploaded to our data store. View the contents of this installation and then build the virtual machine. We can now power on this VM and view the console to see the boot process and start the configuration. We need to create a password for the standard BW admin account and confirm the password. We'll then need to select the time zone for the LTM server. Next, we'll need to set a static IP address on the machine, a subnet mask, default gateway address, DNS name server IP address, and of course, a domain name. Your initial configuration is complete. We can now take the IP address stated at the top here and browse to it in our local web browser. Initially, we will have a certificate error message. Of course, we can resolve that later, but for now, we're just going to accept this and proceed. On the login screen, the standard account is BW admin and the password we configured in the first step once powering on the LTM machine. We can see that we have thin clients already registering themselves within the devices inventory and we're fully configured. Thank you very much.